Janssen's proprietary AdVac technology offers new hope in delivering transformational vaccines to prevent and treat some of the most threatening infectious diseases of our time, such as HIV, RSV, influenza, Ebola, and COVID-19. Vaccination allows the immune system to develop protection against pathogens by exposing the body to antigens. Antigens that are introduced by vaccines mimic a pathogen or part of a pathogen, but do not cause disease. Janssen's AdVac technology makes use of vectors, which are carriers of the genetic code of the antigen. When the body encounters the antigen, it will mount an immune response. An important attribute of using ADVAC vectors is that the body will induce both a humoral immune response and a cellular immune response. The body will produce B cells, antibodies and memory cells, T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells. To make the vaccine more effective, vaccine regimens often contain additional components such as proteins that are similar to the antigen. In the future, if the body encounters the actual pathogen, sufficient antibodies may already be in circulation to prevent the pathogen from inducing disease. Or, the memory cells will ensure that the immune system is activated faster and more effectively so you don't get ill. As vaccines based on ADVAC technology also induce cytotoxic T cells that can recognize cells that have already been infected, we can also target chronic infections. Let's take a closer look at these vectors used in the ADVAC technology. The ADVAC platform is based on a specific type of adenovirus. In general, naturally occurring adenoviruses cause a wide range of mild, self-limiting diseases such as the common cold. Janssen has genetically modified selected subtypes of the virus so that they can no longer replicate in humans and cause illness. We can now use this virus as a vector or carrier for the genetic code of the antigen. With a 1000 liter bioreactor, we can produce adenovector for over a million vaccine doses. After purification and formulation, these vaccines can be stored at a temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for some time. This makes it compatible with existing infrastructure for storage and transport of vaccines. Last but not least, making use of this platform technology has the major advantage that procedures, knowledge and experience with the development of one vaccine can be leveraged for other vaccines. The ADVAC technology has been evaluated in dozens of clinical studies and has already been used to develop Janssen's European Commission-approved Ebola vaccine regimen and to construct our HIV, RSV and Zika vaccine candidates. The ADVAC technology is also leveraged in Janssen's SARS-CoV-2 vaccine research program. In short, vaccines based on Janssen's ADVAC technology induce not only a long-lasting humoral response, but also a robust cellular response. This encourages us to target diseases for which no effective vaccine is available yet, including tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. We're confident that our ADVAC platform will help Janssen play a vital role in the fight against infectious diseases and ultimately help people live longer, healthier lives for years to come.